Hi everyone, this is a short video of the next project I'm about to take on board. It's the Rev Alrado AR196A seaplane. Uh, let's have a look. It's, uh, it's on 32 scale, so it's quite a big airplane really. Um, by all accounts, from what I've heard and read about it, it's quite a nice kit. Uh, let's have a look at the side. The side pictures for you. I don't know if you can see that. Looks quite good. Looks quite detailed as well. So uh, yeah, I think I'll give this one a go next. I think. It's very nice. All right, let's get stuck in. Let's have a look and see what's inside the box. Okay, upon opening the box, we've got one, two, three, four. We got five poly bags containing screws. I think there's two screws in each bag of light grey plastic. And what I believe, I don't know yet, there must be a stand for the model when it's finished, which is unusual to get nowadays. Um, right, let's have a look. It's obviously the floats. There. Another set there. I must say, looking at it, it looks really, really nicely detailed, panel lines wise. Can't see any flash, not even on the small bits, which is quite good. Looks promising. And of course, we've got the uh, all important clear window panels for the cockpit. They look okay. There's one thing I hate is when you're doing the smaller models is the masking and the canopy because uh, I find it a real pain even with masking tape and um, I'm not a lover of mask gold when I uh, build the smaller models so um, that's my compressor by the way. There's a bigger poly bag this has got what's this got in it this has got the engine the engine detail looks really good actually um, I won't take them out of the bags yet I can focus nice radial engine what else have we got there? we've got the prop again very nicely detailed still can't see any flash it's very clean and crisp. Good. That can be a fuselage. Again, it's very nice. No flash. Panel lines. Get this to focus. Panel lines look very nice. And the wings. It's inside of the wings. You can't see. Them. I'm not going to the bag, but I'll be doing that in a minute. So yeah, overall impressions. Excellent. Very good. Up to Rebel's normal standards, I suppose. I'll set of floats there. There's one thing with this kit, is I've got the inside tubular framing. It goes inside the fuselage, which you build first, obviously. Um, but even on this, there's absolutely no flash whatsoever, um, which is really, really good. And there's the other one. It's really trying my hardest to get the camera in focus. But um, yeah, it looks good. There's the uh, cockpit floor. Again, no flash. But yeah. Overall impressions very good. Let's have a look at the uh, the decals and the book of instructions. Our well, instruction booklet for the Arado is pretty much a basic A4 size multi-page instruction book you get from Rebel. Get the basic details, colour chart that's needed, and I'll bet they've done what they always do with these kits. Let's see if I can find it. When you mix the paints on these, um, it says something like 75% uh, 
uh, black green mat, 25% that green, dark green mat, which is fine. Until you come to ones which it'll say something like 76% one paint and 24% another paint. I mean, come on, Revel, really? That's a bit silly, isn't it? But anyway, all important decals. Very good, very really nice actually. And when are these uh, model? model manufacturers are going to start including swastikas again I mean it's a bit stupid as bloody PC gone mad if you ask me um, but I think they should definitely get around to uh, supplying swastikas with the German kits because otherwise it costs a small fortune having to send away for aftermarket stuff uh, but hey ho that's just a personal gripe of mine then we got a page for the sprues and what parts go and what parts run the sprues and you want to put instructions again very clear very concise pretty good to me pretty basic pretty straightforward yep that's good and uh, so how many versions you can build us in two versions uh, Marquee Creek, January 1943 markings. Or on board the German battleship Trippis, summer 1943. That might be a good one to go for. It's quite good. I might go for that one. Anyway, I see out of the box. They're starting to build. <laughs> 